Small investments are essential to your wealth growth. And when you have earned the right to start investing in your first column of two to five years, well, here's some tricks that you can utilize while you prepare during your 365 days to success. Let's make a right, left, yeah! Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, yeah? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well, do so by subscribing. Feel free to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Small investments are a quick turnaround. A turnaround could take hours, days, weeks, a few months, even a couple of years. But there is no rush when it comes to investing. You're investing with money over your safety net. So a lot of this is high risk investing since they are short term investments, but it's okay. You can still focus on life because again, this is money over your safety net, allowing you to take these risks and not so much worry about paying or surviving your overhead because these are not long term investments. You're not holding your investment into assets for a long return. They're short, quick, high risk at a low return, but you're trying to build a compound investment, which ultimately means you're taking any money earned and putting it back into the system, or in this case, the three needs of purpose. First, in that column of two to five years, you have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and intellectual properties. I like to really get into what a stock, a bond, and a mutual fund is. Mutual funds are typically a group of stocks or a group of bonds put into a mutual fund. And when you invest in this, sometimes certain stocks are up while others are down and you're evening out. Other times it's all up. Sometimes they're all down. Bonds are really an investment into a company, sort of like um, a loan to the company. And then you get reimbursed for that loan plus interest. That's the layman's version of a bond. I would recommend you go look it up to get the clarified version of it. But ultimately, you're lending money to a company and the company is returning you based on its growth. Now, a stock, on the other hand, well, that's an actual investment into ownership of the company. Some stocks allow you to actually have a vote where others just allow you to have ownership into a company. Now, stocks are traditionally where you would invest your short term uh, investments. The reason is because you have more control over day trading, swing trading and even short term trading. Uh, the idea is that you're investing quickly to sell quickly, though you're following the rules, having your criteria set, and there is a formula. Intellectual properties include intangible properties created from the human intellect. Whew, that was an alliteration. And the primary standards are copyrights, trademarks, and patents. Other IPs or intellectual properties can be trade secrets, immortal rights, or rights against unfair competition. And then of course, for artists like you and myself, musical works, literary works, discoveries, inventions, words, symbols, and designs, all can be an intellectual property. You might not sell the idea yourself or even today, but you never know. So protect your idea by copywriting, trademarking, or even creating a pattern for your developed theory, idea, discovery, so forth, and so on. Helpful tip! So when you're getting into practicing those stocks, remember there are free avenues out there. One particular is Ameritrade's personal think or swim app. You can find it on your phone. You could also utilize it on the interweb. Now, the advantage of using an app like think or swim is that they allow you to use paper money or fake money in real time use. That's right. You can look at the stock market on the opens, which is 932 four. Uh, and then on addition to that, you can even look at the pre market and you could also look at the aftermarket. So in between like uh, four and nine. OK, now the advantage of this is if you lose money, it's OK, it's fake. But you get to now practice both your formulas and your criteria based on whatever your education is. Now, once you're ready to actually invest and you want to start making mucho moolah, some quick helpful ideas would be to either invest through 
TD's Ameritrade, or you can get the Robinhood app, which is uh, right on your phone, and you could invest. Uh, there are pros and cons to both of them, but I would look further into that if I were you. Now, if you're interested in Robinhood, there is a link directly down in the description of this particular video. Feel free to click that link and sign up. It's free to sign up. The importance to practicing, even if it's with paper money, is that you're becoming comfortable and you're learning to invest based on criteria, formula, and numbers, and less with your gut or emotion. Basically, if the, if the formula tells you to sell, you sell. If the formula tells you to buy, you buy. And you keep track of these things by writing stuff down on a piece of paper and or a spreadsheet. It's good to keep track of this stuff so you can learn and develop strengths and increase uh, strength to your weaknesses. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these Traveling Adventures of a Resilient Entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And look at the people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you, punk? Do you? Man, that hurts so much. Goodbye. Oh dear.